All right. Be but before, I have a few questions for Adam. Okay. Um, to help, to help um, explain the following. So, number one, do you have a power rack? I do. Yes. Do you use the inside and outside? I'm, and I'm hoping you say yes to all these. The, the do you use yes. the inside and outside of the power rack? Yes. yes. Yep. How often do you move them in and out? Jacobs. Okay. Your Jake, Jacobs. Your Jacobs. Jacobs. Um, yeah, like three times a week. Like three times so a week. So, like, in like the sessions, like it's got to go inside and outside. I have to do that at least three sessions a week. Yeah. Okay. And then, can you rate the annoyance of moving your Jacobs around? Yeah, because I have to put the bar on the safeties, go to the outside, move the bar to the outside, move the safeties out. Yeah, it, I don't like it. Right. It is annoying. And then, like for me, I'm I like if you're taking them from inside to outside. I always take them from the inside on one side and move them all the way to the other side because you have to have the outside or if you, you want the outside to line up with the, the correct side or whatever. Um, and then it's kind of tough to like line them up. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's a problem that sounds like kind of, uh, you know, snobbish to like complain about it, but it's there. It's a small um, problem, but yeah, it's annoying for sure. Oh, and I actually, I had a slide explaining that. So, so, and so you're not alone. Many do, many use the inside and outside the rack, but they're also probably not doing it at the same time. So I have here, the issue is if you're switching in and out, you need to alternate sides. So the edge is on the proper side. If you own two pairs of J, J cups, you may need to move um, them where the other pair is not. So if you like, um, if you ha if you're going to squat, um, but you're, but it's already set up for shoulder press on the other side, you're going to have to move the other J cups as, as well. And then, you know, can be difficult to line up. Um, so my, uh, my idea is a double sided J cup. So, um, yes. th this would, I have another awesome illustration. Um, Good. but this would, this would be, um, always connected and you can move it up and down like a trolley. I'm kind of thinking like what dialed motion has or what Buffalo bully or like, um, the, uh, Omni pulley system from bridge bill. So it's always in there. And then I'm thinking a mag pin would be used to lock it in place. So you simply take the mag pin out, move it up or down, and then put the mag pack in mag, mag pin in. Um, so in general, it's easier to adjust than um, like tilting it, tilting your J cups, pulling it out, putting it in, and then tilting it back in. Um, so I think it'd be easier to do that. It'd be easier to line up. Um, and um, yeah, so double-sided J cup um, that could be used on both sides. Yeah, I'm kind of envisioning like an Allen wrench that, you know, you would sandwich it together, use an Allen wrench to like secure it as right. one piece as it moves up and down and a mag pin. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, I like that idea too. Yeah. I Man, like this. Two for I, two, Jay. I like this one. This, this should be a product. Yeah. And this I'm is, th this, you only, you only learn about this as a product by using a rack in your home gym. Like for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so. and, mo and moving inside and outside right. and, and uh -huh. doing a bunch of movements with barbells. Yeah, mm -hmm. agree. Yeah. This one's worth a nine, too, because it's, this, it's this something should that idea. should be real. Yeah. Yep. I like yep. it. Cool. All right. Thank you. Dang. Giving the people all these free ideas. <laughs> free ideas. Millionaires.